The movie was The Hustler. It had been edited by Dee Dee Allen, who I knew nothing about. But when I saw that movie, I saw the performances and I saw the editing, I really clicked. And I said to myself, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to become an editor, a picture editor. I started off as an intern at a post-production sound company. I got hired as an apprentice making leader. Started way back in 1966. Working as like an apprentice sound editor for maybe $200 a week. And the cutting room that they gave us was in a broom closet. I did a lot of work at Roger Corman's studio. I never knew who was going to come through the door. And a lot of independent films and small art films. One guy has a has a car commercial, one guy has a porno film. There's not a sense of security that if something were to go wrong, that you have a way to address it. At a certain point, you just realize, I'm not a machine, I'm a human being, and I'm really tired. It's very difficult to be out there by yourself. It's just between you and the employer, and with you being freelance. They kill you. We started as a small group of editors who wanted something better. And that's what led to this growth of the Guild. We are the people who assemble and polish the world standard in motion pictures. It's always been the attitude of the board to embrace changes and not resist them. We opened the roster so that it was no longer a closed shop. We merged locals on two coasts to become a united national organization. We integrated sound, projectionists, and the lab workers. It's only because we have protection and numbers that we're able to protect our own individual needs and our own individual desires. There was more to be said in terms of negotiations. And that's what's kept us going, is that we've had the support of the membership. And what started as a few brave men and women is now over 7,000 members strong. When I first joined the union, I was just extremely happy to get such a big boost in pay. I love the fact that my time is protected, that my wages are protected. If I have to work for Saturdays and Sundays and weekends, then I can be compensated for it. And long distance was the pension. That pension. I'm looking at the retirement benefits. People who work union their entire careers, they can retire comfortably, just, to, just as I am right now. And I would probably be hundreds, I kid you not, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt without our health insurance. Congress has the best health system in the United States. They voted it in for themselves. They've got the best one. Who has the second best? The IA. I entered the Guild when I was 19 years old, and being able to have health coverage so young and feel so independent lended itself to a great opportunity of not having to worry about those kinds of things. It's great to have the peace of mind that you know that you have that standing by if you ever need it. My name is Mary McCoy. I'm Dick's wife. He does have Alzheimer's. We have wonderful doctors here, and a supportive staff is unbelievable. My father had a stroke in uh, July of 2010, and he has a great relationship with Dr. Himaya, and it's been really important for me to be a union member and for him to get the benefit. I think everyone should think about this. What would it be like if we didn't have it, if we didn't have the Guild? And um, I think they would, it would wake them up very quickly. Despite all the changes in the industry, it's the talent that gets hired. There's a professionalism that's involved in being part of a union crew. You know that you're with the best people in the business. Being a Guild member just doesn't make you the best in the world. What it is, is that the best in the world become Guild members. I don't have to give any thought. All, all of the things that I need are protected. My conditions, my wage scale, um, my pension and benefits. It's like a rock. The Guild is like a rock. I don't have to think about it. It's absolutely there. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary, I think everybody should be proud that the Guild is in a much better position than it was when it began, and it's been an upward trajectory the whole way through. By standing strong, I'm helping not only myself, I'm helping everybody else. So it's, it's the feeling that I'm part of something bigger than myself, which I think is th the biggest benefit of all.
I'm Siobhan Pryor, and I'm a proud member of the Motion Picture Editors Guild. I'm a member of the Guild. I'm a member. I'm a member. I'm, I'm a member. member. I'm, I'm a member. member. I'm a member. If you want to have a life in this business, join the family.